as we go into the speed road. I'm, Tara, I'm pretty amazed that these guys are going to, we haven't seen the rope competition in a long time, so I'm curious to see how these gymnasts are going to do. And they're being challenged to go up a 20-foot rope as fast as they can without legs and tag off on the person behind them. They're just trying to get up and down the rope as fast as possible with the members of their team. There's three guys and three girls. They can go in any order. Uh -huh. They're just trying to get up and down the rope as fast as possible, and the fastest one wins this wow. entire segment. This is all about strategy. I mean, who, who do you go first? Do you put all three guys first and break out a big lead, but then finish up with the girls? Or do you alternate it? Or... Hey, some of those girls are fast. No, I rope. know. I'm... All right, yeah, like absolutely. There's actually certain marks on the rope. You have to start below a certain mark and work your way up and back down. So you can't just get all the way up to the top and just oh, let go and, and let just go fall to the down. ground. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be a little worried if somebody fell. So representing Team Ice, we have Samantha, and from Team Fire, we have Aaron Davis. This is going to be exciting. I'm sure they're not used to this kind of a competition, but... Here they go. Go for it, go, go, go. Good start by both teams. Neck and neck. Aaron's got a slight little lead. Fire just blew right up that rope. Look at them. They've got a whole rope's length of a lead. Again, this is, this is, rope climb is not an easy thing to do. That's what he's doing. I'm just so impressed with how much strength this takes to do this apparatus. The total upper body strength, because especially here you can't use your legs and and here you have uh, Casey up against Habib, and Brandon is fired up. He's ready to go. I can't wait to see this monster go right up the rope. Wow, wow look at that speed. It's close. Here comes Jonathan Horton. He's going to try to close the gap. Look wow. at how fast they go. Flying down the rope. It's amazing. Here comes Kylie. It's a close race. She's gaining close. some ground. Look at that. They're almost neck and neck. Here it comes. Is it too little, too late? Come on. Finishing up with Justin Spring. And this is for the win. Justin gets up there pretty easily. Here they go. And Justin brings it home for Team Fire. Team Fire Woo! wins. Good job. What a tough event. Yeah. All upper body strength. They must be exhausted. <laughs> I know I would be. I'm exhausted just watching these Me guys too. do this. Team Fire gets the speed rope victory. That's great. So. Team Fire forges ahead two to one over Team Ice. Parallel bars and beam. Probably one of the scariest events for uh, the girls, would you say? Yes, and one of my favorites. It just excites me. It's so cool to watch them do all those cool tricks on the beam. It's such beauty and grace combined with such precision. And to do all these amazing tricks and yet stay so perfectly balanced that you can finish in a perfect stick. Listen, I know I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, and the guys are over on uh, Parallel Bars, Tara. Um, Parallel Bars over the years has really changed where it used to be uh, a lot of upper body strength, a lot of swinging, a lot of momentary hand stance. Now they're using Parallel Bars almost similar to a high bar or rings, which is, is really kind of made Parallel Bars more exciting over the years. We started off with a little bit of underbar work, just a bail to a scoop through, going to do a little straddle, reach around, up to handstand. Let's see it. Andrew's going to start us off on parallel bars with what we call a tapelt. But what that is, is he's going to start from a handstand, swing down through the bottom of the bars, dropping his chest, and then coming up and going in reverse direction in a straddle position. See, I think that's the coolest part where he does that deep yeah. bend and then... And he, oh, he's pretty happy about hey. it. Look at him giving the Hussein Bolt little logo there. He's stoked. Very excited about it. Yeah, dropping his chest and arching through the bottom is what it needs to be done in order to allow him to uh, uh, reverse right. the direction of his feet. So it's a very difficult skill because of the timing that it takes. Looks like uh, Fire is going with a wild card and pulling in uh, Sean Townsend. 
which I think is a smart move. I mean, he's the 2001 uh, World Power Bar Champion, so why wouldn't you go with him? He just came off the bench, and go, he's looking pretty good. He thinks he can take this. I was getting the crowd involved. Nice. Ooh, that's Real nice. beautiful. Not bad for somebody just coming off the uh, the bench. I thought it was great. Looked like a walk in the park for him. I don't know. It's going to be tough. These referees are having a tough decision. Oh, look, uh, they did. Ice, wins. ice winds up winning. Good job to Andrew. So they maintain control, and they're going to put up Susan on the balance beam. This has got to be nerve wracking for her, being the first one up. From you here? We're going to change beam up a little bit, real quick, and do a little bit of strength. I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm excited Let's to see this. I, I, I've never really seen strength Jackson. on balance beam, so I'm curious of what it's going to look like. My guess is it's going to be some sort of a press handstand, but I could be completely wrong. Oh, yep, there she goes. She's pressing up to a handstand. Wow, into look how a easy that is. Full split handstand, stags her legs, planches over. And then a complete handstand, half turn off, dismount. Beautiful. Wow, very pretty. So nice. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes so much strength to do a move like Susan that. Jackson. Let's see what Yana has. She's going to Roboto with Yana Beager. So she presses up from the floor, stags, planches. Wow. Really pretty. Nice handstand. Comes These back down the same side. These are very strong women. They're amazing. Referees. Ooh. Let's take it to and it's a tie. VIPs, we need your help. So right. it goes to the audience. Let's see what the audience has to do about this. Look, the team fire is working the crowd. Let's watch the replay. Susan didn't actually call the dismount. She was just calling the strength element of the press into the planche. But I think I would still go with Team Ice only because Susan took it all the way from the straddle and pressed it all the way up. Yeah, I could see that, but I, I would have to disagree with you on that one. I would definitely go with Yana. And, and the reason why I say that with Team Fire is that Yana came down a little bit more than, than Susan did. So as, as great as both of them were, I, I'm going to have to lean more towards uh, Fire on this one. Let's see who wins. Team Fire gets a point. Wow, Fire. Right. There right. it is. Team Fire. You want to pat me on the back for that one? Thank With you. No I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Up now ball. from uh, Team Fire, it seems like Danelle is going to start Team us off with um, a giant swing with a full twist on one arm. And, and this is another element, Tara, that just shows how um, parallel bars has changed throughout the years where over time, it used to be above the bars. Now, elements are being done below the bars. So I'm excited to see how he does. Well, anything on one arm, I'm impressed. I just, their balance is so impeccable. And the precision that they have, it's, it's amazing. Yep. Wow, really smooth. Makes it look like he's swinging on high bar. It makes yeah. it look so easy. Yeah. But there's so much he's got to think about. He's got to make sure his feet stay bent through the bottom, that he has a grip on the parallel bars coming through. Uh, I'm excited to see what uh, Chris has uh, in store also. I feel good. We got the beast himself going up on parallel bars. He's about to tear it up. He can do this skill really well. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with what Jonathan's saying. I mean, Chris is a beast, and... and as high bar is his favorite uh, event, he's going to be able to swing parallel bars just like high bar. He's getting the crowd pumped up. Let's see what he has. And he just looks like he's loving it too. Yep. He looks like he's having the time of his life. This is what's great about this is what's great about the competition is that their personalities really can come out. Listen, if it was up to me, I'd give it to Chris right now just because he's got gray socks on. <laughs> he's pretty pumped about things. I don't know. He is That's pumped. a tough He's call. Excited. Again, these these skills are so difficult. And a, another, another tie. Another tie. Wow. Wow. Competition is getting tough. So I'd be curious what the audience has to say. I wonder if the Gray Sox will play into what's going on, Tara. What's your feeling on it? I personally love the Gray Sox, but uh, I would go with Team Fire. Wow. Yeah. We'll looking what the at the audience has to say. Looking at the slow motion from this angle. Then now there's a real beautiful, well-formed uh, giant with a full twist.
Well, yeah, I mean, they're both Jamie great, Jackson great Jackson skills. Jackson. I'm curious of how the audience is going to vote. For me, I'd go right there with Chris just because of his reaction. And they give it to Team Fire. I'll take that pat on the back back. Wow, here you go. There it is. Good job. I'll give you your pat on the back. All right, so up next is Brittany Habib, and she's walking over to the balance beam. She just announced she's going to do a side summit. So she's going from feet to feet. Yeah, she's basically doing a cartwheel without any hands, but completely facing sideways. Wow, that's a tough skill. All right, so here she goes. Nice. Good stick by Brittany. Well, now she didn't actually stick it. She stayed on the beam, but okay. I saw a small bobble, so that leaves the door open for Team Ice to come in and take the victory. All right. I'm going to tell you right now, I could never do that. The always inventive and crowd pleasing Casey Joe McGee. All right, now we've got Casey Joe McGee jumping up on the beam. This is her version of a side flip. Oh, that's stuck. And now that's she a didn't stick. Move at all. Now that, that, okay, now that should I, take I it home. Now. Let's see what the she judges say. She did that say. so easy. How difficult is that? Do you lose sight of the beam at all? You do. Hey, there you go. Ice wins it. Her stuck landing on that uh, side flip. Um, and it looks like it's turned into uh, favorable for uh, the ice team because now they take control. They do. What's going on here? Now that we've just regained offense, we're trying to figure out where we got the advantage skill-wise versus Wes or Justin since they're the last two guys. So it looks like strategy is coming into play here. They know who they're going to have to go up against also, which is great because they know their abilities or have an idea of their abilities. So uh, Jonathan is going to do a swing through the bottom, full pirouette on one arm into a double pike dismount. So let's see what he's got. Very pretty. Perfect. Wow, into a stuck. stuck landing. Great, Gorgeous. great job. You can't not love that. That's just amazing. Team Ice is and loving it. And here it is, a rivalry oldest time on Parallel Bars. All right, Justin's up. He's going to give it a go. He has some uh, last minute words of encouragement. Trying to fire himself up, get the crowd going again. Let's see what his swing in one arm pirouette uh, is going to look. Uh oh. Oh, some taunt in there. I wonder if Jonathan knows that's a weak skill for, uh, for Mr. Justin Sprint here. I don't think it's weak nice. for him. That looks pretty strong to me. Oh, oh Justin comes back with it. Light bobble, but beautiful form, beautiful height. I think Justin stepped up to the plate. I think he did too. Ah, uh, but Team Ice. Team Ice. Yeah. Team Ice. yeah. Jonathan knew. Good strategy. Good strategy. What are we, throwing we probably knew that Justin could do it, but not as well as he would. Right. So here is Kylie Botterman stepping up to the beam. Best of luck. And she's going to do a full turn on one foot on the beam straight into a, a flip with a gainer off the beam. It's difficult. I think it's difficult <laughs> to say. <laughs> Pretty. That's it a unique dismount. It. Yeah. You don't normally see that, you know, kind of a dismount. It's off the side. Most dismounts are down the end of the beam. Right. And that's what, again, like I said, I like this competition because you can do different and unique elements. Yeah. Up next is Holly Weiss on the balance beam. She is stepping up to the plate to try to take on Kylie Botterman. Holly matches. Oh, Perfection. look, she's playing to the crowd. To the referees. Boy, that's anybody's point. That's tough again. Team Ice. Team Ice. Now it's getting exciting. Team Ice is all in offensive control. It's coming down to the next set the of uh, guys on parallel bars. Rumor has it we're having something oh, they're discussing. Down. What are they going to do? All right, let's see what uh, Andrew can do. Andrew, what are we going to be putting down here? I can do a combination of two skills. It's a back up rise from, from upper arms, front flip catch, and then heely out. Get after it. All right, let's see what Andrew has going on. He's getting the bars ready. He's warmed up, ready to go. I'm excited. Oh, oh okay. take note, Jonathan. This is how you dance. Go ahead, Andrew. 
What a great way to start off this move. Good front summy, swing Ooh. up to a handstand. And falling forward, he's gonna do a full turn and try to catch the bargain. Really nice, wow, very difficult. Made it look so easy. Gorgeous. With the Texas two-step in there. That's how you, that's performance, that's evolution, that's competition. I love it, that was gorgeous. Well, Wes has got a big job ahead of him if he wants to beat that. Yeah, see, he starts off good front summing. See, I personally would have started off with the dancing also, but okay. <laughs> All right, Wes. Again, this is a very difficult um, sequence here. And, and Wes knows. I, I think that he could definitely do it better, but... Team Ice. Team Ice takes Team it Ice again. Definitely the dancing. What a great way to get the crowd uh, fired up and behind you. Susan is about to take the balance beam. Susan, what can we expect from you? All right, and it's Susan Jackson up next on the balance beam doing a front aerial walk over step out, which is basically where you flip end over end frontwards on the beam with no hands. This is probably my most favorite move that any girl can That's do. That's it, it's right there. But she's going to do that on the balance beam. Uh, Tara, I, I actually couldn't do that on the floor, let alone on a four inch wide balance beam. You know, I actually used to compete this skill, and it was one of my favorite skills. I'll give you a high five for that. There you go. Thank you. Let's see how she does. Oh, oh, she, she should double down. I'm... She can make this skill. She is doubling down. Oh. She's gonna double down. I think she's. I think. I think she's playing the crowd. I think she set. She's setting everybody up. Double the risk. Double the points. Yep. All right, here she goes. She can, shake it off. She can do this skill. First one. Wow, slight bobble on the first, but yeah. amazing. Not bad. She uh, pulled Let's it off. She made it on the beam. The second one was perfect. She leaves a little window of opportunity for Holly Vice to come in here and nail it. Uh, but let's see what she does. To the beam, Holly Vice. And nails it. Beautiful. Wow, down really benefited the fire team. Nice job, Team Fire. That means Team Fire gets two points and control the offense. Oh, it looks like uh, Fire is doing some uh, strategy here. Putting up Danell Leva. All right, let's see what he's putting down. Danell from Team Fire, what kind of heat are you bringing? I'm going to do a swing through the bottom and then a one and a half turn on one hand. One and a half turn. So we've seen a single turn, but now he's adding another half turn onto that. Right. He thought a full turn on one hand was tough. Oh, he's taunting the crowd. Look at him. He's playing the crowd. The crowd's going crazy now. Look. The crowd's behind Team Fire. That's what you got to do. You know, if, if that does go to a tie, if this good, uh, skill winds up in a tie, that could benefit him a little bit playing to the crowd. There you go. What an Beautiful. awesome, really nice. He's excited about it. The crowd's excited about it. It was such precision having to stay on that one axis to make a turn and a half. I mean, it's incredible what these athletes do. Wow, looks like it, uh, Team Ice has decided to forfeit it to him. So Team Fire wins. So Team Fire's in control. They're sending up Miss Yana Beager on the balance beam. I'm gonna do a front flip from my knee back to my knee. All right, now Yana is up next on the balance beam and she is doing a skill that no one has ever seen before. She actually made this skill up. This is her own unique skill. And it's a front flip on the beam, but she's starting from her knee and going back to her knee. To me. Watch this. What? I'm speechless. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> I, I think I, that speaks for itself. I, I, if that's her move and she's made up that move, Tara. A little bit of game.
Who else can do it? I think Ice is going to have to forfeit. Again, this is why I love this competition. She gets an opportunity to do her move uh, on an individual basis. I love it. Yep. Looks like Ice forfeited. He kind of gave it to me that first round, so calling out John Horton on a peach half. Looks like Justin Spring is going to be next up on parallel bars, and um, he's got a vendetta against uh, Jonathan Horton over there. He feels like he was kind of put in an awkward situation in, in the previous round, so uh, he's going to go with one of his strengths. He's going to call out Jonathan Horton with a, uh, a peach half turn to a handstand, which is, in reality, it's a back um, somersault underneath the bar, coming up through the bar, finishing in a handstand. This is one of Justin Spring's specialty moves, so this could be a real smart move, because this is worth two points if he wins it. Nice. Really pretty. Really pretty. He knows he rocked that. Look. Beautiful. Alright. Now it's up to Jonathan. He's got to step up to the plate. He accepted this. Let's see what he's got. It seems like for Jonathan, he's got to, he's got to put some extra chalk on the bar. Again, with these types of moves, in order to get a better grip, um, you got to make sure you put on some, some good um, uh, chalk on your hands and make it, make it sticky. But Jonathan does a nice job too. Jonathan stepped up, look, and he knows it. He's got nothing else to say. He did his oh. job, he did it well. I, Good I camaraderie fear, there. I fear Team Ice will take home that point. It's gonna be a tough decision. And they do. Team Ice wins it. Two points. Back handspring, back layout, step out. For Kylie Botterman, make some noise, people. All right, up next we've got Kylie Botterman up again ice. on the balance beam. This time she's doing a flip-flop layout step out. That's two flips in a row. The, the second one without any hands sticks it perfectly. Ah, look at her. A little, little flavor into boop. it. Nice. <laughs> They really seem like they're enjoying this competition. Yeah, I think they're having a great time. Well, you know, all these athletes are performers. Here comes Brittany Habib, trying to match the challenge. Oh, very nice also. A slight bobble. She didn't stick it. A slight bobble. She did stay on the beam, but point Water awarded to, to ice. ice. That was huge. Real big, real big. It's, uh, it's coming down to the wire. It's getting real exciting. Now, as you can tell, you can see these teams are talking to one another, really trying to strategize. Okay, well, what's the next move? Who do we call out? What move do we do? What are you looking to throw down here? I'm going to do a front uprise to immediate front straddle, one and quarter catch and upper arms. That's a mouthful. Let's check it out. <laughs> You've got to love the commentators. <laughs> Well, Andrew's going to throw out a mouthful. So apparently he's going to do a front uprise into a one and three quarter front flip and catch underneath your arms in the straddle position. This is tough because not only does it hurt your arms, it could be, if you don't, if you don't make this trick, it could be really detrimental to a guy. Nice front uprise. Very nice and high. Done very well. Andrew knows. It gives himself a little bit of applause. Good for him. Good for him. Good support from the team. That's incredible. All that weight coming down on this part of your body. Mm -hmm. Point goes to Team Eyes. Looks like Team Fire has decided to forfeit on that one. And so Susan Jackson is up next on the balance beam. A round off, dismount. Two, or three, or double back. Tuck. Here we go. All right, so Miss Susan Jackson is going to throw her double back dismount. Now, remember we talked earlier about the dismounts off the side of the beam. Well, Susan Jackson is actually going to run down to the end of the beam, do a round off flip on the beam, and then two flips in the air off the beam, and hopefully stick it. How about hopefully land it? And stick it, and yeah. win the point. That's tough to do, especially when there's no springs in that beam, and it's only four inches wide. This is for the win. If anyone can pull this trick off, Susan can. And she goes. The skill needs ultimate concentration. It's really important that you know where you are in the air. Wow. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. She set the bar high on that one. Yeah. Beautiful dismount. Beautiful dismount. Boy, Team Fire is going to have to be darn near perfect to uh, beat that. Looks like Team Fire. Team Fire is calling a wild card. Wild card. Looks like card. they're bringing in Jessica. 
chest because we're warming up with the moonwalk right there, which is really good to get the blood flowing in the body. Now remember, Jessica uh, landed on her head in 2009. So right, this right. is this is a double flip. Let's see if she can get around her feet. You know, I think it's a really smart move, actually, for Team Fire to bring her out because she really rocks the skill. This could be a game changer right here. Let's see how she does. Look at that focus. She wants this. And she gets it. Let's see if it's enough. Really nice, really nice. I hope it is. It's up to the ref. Is this a win for Team Ice? Team Ice. Ice wins it. Ice wins the event. Ice. Wow, great comeback. Great comeback. You know, some of those forfeits that uh, Team Fire had, uh, it hurt them in the end. It did. So after the completion of the parallel bars beam rotation, we're tied two to two, fire and ice. Yeah, this is what it's about, uh, Tara. You know, to see two teams battling it out, it's good to see them flip-flop. And it's anybody's game right now. Mm -hmm.